Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, our mission is to inform you and provide you some fun along the way. Well, it's been a long time, but Kate Mack is back. And today, thanks to Cannington Kia, she's going to introduce you to the brand new Kia Sportage. This is a car built specifically for today's driving conditions and trends. Dan Paris goes to diesel school thanks to United Fuel Injection. Your diesel could be quieter, cleaner and more efficient. Dunco hits the streets in one of the most popular commercial vans on the market, the Toyota Hiace, thanks to City Toyota. From the outside, changes have been made to give the Hiace a bolder, stronger look. And of course, thanks to City Toyota, we've got this week's celebrity hitchhiker, David Koch from Sunrise. I drive a 67 Mustang Fastback. That body shape is a work of art. So get comfortable, it's time for Zoom TV. For a bit of a history lesson. Way back in 1944, a South Korean company began manufacturing bicycles, which soon became motorcycles, trucks, and eventually cars in the 1970s. Today, it's one of the most popular brands on Australian roads, and whilst they no longer make bicycles, they do make cars that keep pushing the boundaries of style and affordability. That company is Kia, and this is the latest offering in the highly competitive SUV market, the Sportage Platinum. So pack away the helmet and the Lycra, and let's go for a drive. As the name suggests, this is the top level spec Sportage, and the Platinum comes with all of the trimmings. This is a car built specifically for today's driving conditions and trends. A sleek, stylized design capable of transporting passengers in comfort and able to tackle some more heavy duty driving on the weekends. Let's talk about SUVs. They are everywhere on our roads these days. And while that means more competition, it also means a pretty broad spectrum from very good to, well, pretty ordinary. The Sportage, you'll be glad to hear, is on the very good end, and here's why. It drives like it's been designed for our roads, and that's hardly surprising, seeing as though Kia's engineers have spent a long time tweaking the ride characteristics to fit Aussie conditions. For some, the suspension might be a little firm, but the payoff is a more stable ride with less body roll in corners and crisper handling. The Sportage is on the surprisingly heavy side, weighing in at around 1,500 kilos. But the two litre petrol engine has enough power to get you pretty much anywhere. There's also an option of a two litre diesel engine, which packs significantly more punch if you need to do some heavy lifting. The gearbox in the Sportage is a six speed, and if you opt for all wheel drive, you can only get it in automatic. Choose the two wheel drive, however, and both six speed auto and manual options are available. One of the main attractions of SUVs is their ability to carry things. So, how does this Sportage manage this all-important task? With plenty of room, especially in the boot. And even with this downward sloping roof line at the rear, there's headspace for just about any size. Keeping you entertained in the Sportage Platinum this time around is a seven inch color LCD screen and a host of intuitive buttons and navigation. The Bluetooth connectivity is thankfully simple to use and you'll also find USB and auxiliary inputs for all of your music tastes. You'll be happy to know that safety is high on the list of priorities for the Sportage. Six airbags, traction control, ABS, EBD, downhill brake control, rear parking sensors, and it even has doors that can sense when impact is about to happen. It unlocks automatically, which means you'll never be trapped inside the cabin. How'd you go, Kate? So good. That was a great day out. Now, before I give it back to you, though, some fast facts. What's the warranty like? Seven years factory warranty. Wow. Also with seven years cap price servicing and seven years roadside assistance. Oh, awesome peace of mind. And how about the economy? 8.4 litres per 100 kilometres. Ah, that is fantastic. Now, there's lots of awesome features on this car. What is your personal favourite? Probably the rear door, the way it's designed. Um, easy to get young ones in and out of the car. 
Kia may have begun with two wheels, but these days their brand is strong in style and reliability on four wheels. The SUV market is here to stay and the brand new Sportage Platinum takes it to the competition by offering a polished overall package that promises an all-round performance. Get yourself behind the wheel and take one for a test drive today. Just get in touch with the team at Cannington Kia or jump onto canningtonkia.com.au, part of AHG. Coming up after the break, Ross Duncan looks at one of the most popular commercial vans, the Toyota Hiace, thanks to City Toyota. That's next on Zoom TV. Running a business in today's world normally means some sort of conveyance is needed. And nine times out of ten, it's a van. Now, I've always said, if you're going to buy something, look for the best. And that's why we're looking at today, the Toyota Hiace, Australia's number one van. Now, these workhorses have been around for many, many years. And way back in 2005, they released their fifth generation. Now, from then, they've made a number of tweaks. But this, the latest model, offers much, much more. From the outside, changes have been made to give the high ace a bolder, stronger look. Toyota have done that by increasing the radiator grille opening, restyled the front bumper and redesigned the headlights with daytime running lights incorporated. All this means you come up with that, I'm ready to do the job look. Oh yeah. Now Toyota have said they've been listening to their customers and they have suggested this area should be more car-like. Well, they've come up with the goods. Now they have two very comfortable bucket seats separated by this very handy centre console. Another creature comfort is the addition of audio and cruise control switches on the all new four spoke steering wheel. An LCD multi-information display gives time, outside temperature and odometer. Also, there is a fuel usage indicator telling the driver if they are driving economically or not. <laughs> Most high ace fans I see doing deliveries would have the warning light on 90% of the time. Now, in this engine bay sits a trusty 3 litre turbo diesel. Also available, there is a 2.7 petrol. This rig is connected to a 4 speed auto, but there is a 5 speed manual also available. Its payload is 965 kilos and has great loading capabilities, a huge lifting tailgate and the ever handy left hand sliding door. Now the ride is good and the engine performance is impressive. There is a little bit of engine noise but you've got to remember you are sitting over the top of the engine. And after all, this is a workhorse and a good one to boot. The handy thing in this vehicle is the rear view mirror. It's the built-in reversing camera. Great for getting down those narrow lanes. Now the question remains, should I go for a Toyota? Well, the man that knows the answer to that question is dealer principal of City Toyota, Wayne Smith. Wayne, we know that Toyota is the brand, but why buy? Because Toyota has been based on QDR, which is quality, durability and reliability, and that's what really makes up the Toyota brand. Some fast facts. Yes. Warranty. Warranty is covered by a three years and 100,000 kilometre warranty. Service? Service have got cap price servicing, for, which is $180 for every six months. Quickly, your favourite feature? My favourite feature is that no longer does a tradesman have to feel like a tradesman when he's in the front. He's got a beautiful new office out the front, which feels like a passenger car with a lot of great creature comforts. Cheers. Over the last few minutes, you have seen the advantages of owning a high ace van. So if this is what you're looking for in a van, call into City Toyota in Perth and take one for a test drive. More info can be found at citytoyota.net.au. Looking for some fun events to do with things that fly, drive and float? Well, thanks to United Fuel Injection, here's some you might want to check out. It's time to get dirty with Goldburn Speedway's March Mech. 
Check out all the thrills and spills this month with the Micro Sprints Australian titles at the Goldburn Speedway in New South Wales. Also catch stock rods, production sedans, GPs and juniors all competing on Saturday the 21st of March. Adults $20, concessions $10 and kids under five are free. If you're a Queenslander and you prefer things on two wheels, then you've got to check out the Black Dog Ride one day. This amazing national event raises awareness of depression and suicide prevention by bringing together almost 7,000 motorbike riders from around Australia. Registration is open right now for the one day ride on Sunday the 22nd of March, starting in Helensvale, Queensland. And for all you Victorians, it's time to let your hair down with some classic cars and some rock and roll. Get down to the Kilmore Racing Club in Kilmore, Victoria for heaps of vintage machines, activities for the whole family and a barbecue lunch. Sunday, 22nd of March and it all kicks off at 10am. So there you go, some fun events to do with things that fly, drive and float that you can get involved with. Now if you're involved in an enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, go to our website, click on the events page, tell us about the event, we'll give it a plug, we may even come along. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au. Whether you're searching for a top quality new or pre-owned vehicle or a factory service with genuine Toyota parts, then City Toyota is your best option. Why? Because they're one of the most awarded Toyota dealers in Australia. And as a five-star customer service dealership, you can be sure the helpful and professional team at City Toyota will always find the right car for you at the right price with the best possible service. To find out more, go to citytoyota.net.au. Up next, thanks to United Fuel Injection, the only place to take your diesel to get more torque, we get the lowdown on common rail diesel systems. That's next on Zoom TV. Now, over the years, I've had a handful of diesel engines, and I must say, blowing a bit of black smoke or lacking a bit of power or even poor fuel consumption, I thought went hand in hand with owning one of these cars. That's not the case. It turns out that could actually be a sign of a poor fuel injection system. Now, it must have been, I'm a little bit out of my league with this, but I'm at the right place. I'm at United Fuel Injection, and I'm here to catch up with Ken Ringrose. He's going to point me in the right direction. Ken. How are you, mate? How are you going, mate? <laughs> Good to Good see, to you, see again. you again. What yeah. are you looking at? This all looks very high tech, very precision. What's this? Well, what we've got here is a clean room. This is where we actually assemble common rail diesel fuel injectors and pumps. The older systems, which were very good and efficient in their day, obviously with modern demands on the environment, they've had to come up with a new type of fuel injection system. Common rail diesel is it. And that is more powerful, more efficient in all types of um, applications like commercial vehicles and sedans. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I'd love to see the process, actually. Can, can, you, uh, can you show me through it? Absolutely. We've got a vehicle in the workshop here. Let's go and have a look. Well, down here, we've got a, the Diesel Alpha, which has been brought in for some diagnostic work to be done on it. Oh, OK. So with a diesel, how do you know? What are the symptoms before uh, you, know, you know to bring it in? Well, if, for example, if you've got excessive smoke, poor fuel economy, a diesel knock, heart starting issues, best bring it in, and we can hook it up to our scan tool and diagnose the vehicle for you. Sounds like all the things that are happening with my car at the moment. So I guess it's all computer linked these days. This is what diagnoses the issues? Absolutely. We've got all the scan tools necessary to diagnose these vehicles. After this stage of the process, I mean, what happens next? Well, for example, if an injector on this vehicle is gone or the common rail supply pump, we can remove it and test it. So what we can do is take you over to our injector tester and show you what we do. Oh, it's great, Ken. Let's have a look. Yeah. Excellent. Cheers. Well, this is uh, high tech. I wouldn't expect this. So what's this here? Well, what we do, Dan, is we actually remove an injector from a vehicle, for example, bring it across and test it to confirm that it is faulty. We don't want to go and repair an injector that's not faulty. OK, so this isn't actually the repair phase. This is actually, you're just testing it to make sure that it's, uh, it's got a problem. Absolutely. And once we've confirmed it's faulty, it goes to the other side, stripped and assessed, and then reassembled in our clean room, dust-free environment, and then brought back over to a different test machine, which goes through a rigorous test. A lot of stages. Absolutely. <laughs> Next one. Have a look. Yeah, lead on. Ken, I'm so impressed with your machinery here. This is, you know, no exception. But this is the end of the line when it comes to testing the injectors, isn't it? It is, Dan. Yeah, this, this unit here will test four, five or six injectors, depending on what your engine's got in cylinders. 100% um, test. There's no room for human error whatsoever. So once it comes out of here, I mean, because this is a computer test, 
And you know, like you say, there's no, no human error here. Once it comes out, it's as good as new, isn't it? Absolutely, Dan. If it's not right, it's wrong. <laughs> I love that motto. Thanks for showing us through, Ken. Yep, you're welcome. So it turns out your diesel could be quieter, cleaner and more efficient. In fact, you wouldn't even know that these days a lot of cars are indeed diesels. For more info, go to unitedfuel.com.au or follow the links from ours, Zoom TV. I'm now joined by Jace, one of the winners of the Ian Diffin City Discount Tyres Performance Driving Day. Jace, how's the experience been? Uh, it's been great, um, you know, learning new things and, uh, and having fun at the same time. It's a blast. Well, I've noticed you're a pea plater. Are you finding that you're getting an experience you really can't get in any other environment? Yeah, I mean, like, my old man's here and he's, um, <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, you, you know, you're doing pretty well, learning things that you wouldn't have learned on the road unless you're actually in accidents. So. You know, it'd be handy to, to know that. It's nice to actually get a lesson without getting um, the consequences, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Now tell me about your car. Um, it's a bit of a project car for me. You know, doing things to it when I can. It's a 180 SX with a front end Sylvia, so it's a bit unique. What do you love about your car? It has to be the turbo. Always the turbo. You know, when it kicks in, it's just the best feeling. <laughs> You're driving along, wouldn't you, and all of a sudden it kicks in, you feel like a million bucks. Definitely. Well, I tell you what, mate, congratulations. Get over there and keep enjoying the day. Thank you very much. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Coming up after the break, thanks to City Toyota, we catch up with this week's celebrity hitchhiker, David Kosh Koshy from Sunrise. That's next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. Now I'm joined by one of my, I suppose, my heroes, a guy that I look up to literally, especially when we just walked over here, Mr. David Kosh. How, how are you? Right, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for taking the time out. Not a now, problem. You're over in WA at the Telethon. Yep. So uh, you're obviously a man that gives his time because uh, you work a lot already. Um, yeah, but, you know, I, I have a great job. It's not like a job. I, I love doing Sunrise and the, and the stuff I do in the media. But it's also, you have a responsibility that you've got to, you know, give back to the community. Telethon's a great way of doing that. I'm also uh, chairman of the Organ and Tissue Authority, which is the, the Organ Transplant Authority nationally. And of course, Port Adelaide. Pre <laughs> president of Port Adelaide, yeah. so, and a full-time job, and a father, yeah. and a husband. Yeah. So how do you get yeah. all that stuff done? Oh, look, I'm a real process sort of person. Lib and I are empty nesters. We have four kids, four grandchildren. We're at a different stage of life, where we do have the, the time and the resources to put back into the, the things we love. I want to know where it all started. I was a finance journo and started on the Australian as a cadet. I was an accountant uh, originally and then got offered a job uh, in the media uh, doing finance reporting. Worked for BRW for a number of years uh, and then started my own business, publishing business, a specialist financial publishing business. And I've always had a business, family business for 30 years. I've never trusted media for a living. Uh, <laughs> So it's always been my safety net and still is. Well, luckily I've got modelling to back me up, Dave. So. <laughs> oh, OK. Now, do you think 11 years ago when you got off of the job or you auditioned for the job that no, it, a would, mistake. it would take this? No, it was an absolute mistake. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a classic case of just being in the right place at the right time. My father always had a great saying. He said, have enough confidence to give anything a go, but if it doesn't work out, have enough confidence in yourself to go and do something else. And, and that really translates into when an opportunity comes up, don't fear it, embrace it, 
but also don't get stuck in something you don't like. Have that confidence to go and do something else. And I've always lived by that. And, and the opportunity came up for Sunrise. I was just filling in. They noticed a difference in the ratings and said, could I do it full time? There you go. And people like you. I just take it year by year. It's a hair thing, you know yeah. that, do <laughs> Special people are like this. Now it's time for the special questions of the Fast Five. Right. Yep. Okay, what is the first car you ever owned? Uh, it, it was a Volkswagen Beetle. What is your opinion of the best car ever made? I drive a, a 67 Mustang Fastback. That body shape is a work of art. Okay, well that answers the car you currently drive. Right, yeah. So yeah, two in the one there. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made? See, I'm old enough to remember the P76. Everyone says that. And I reckon that was the ugliest flaming car I've ever seen in my life. OK, so fi final question, and I'm, I'm itching to ha hear the answer to this. What's your biggest fear? Uh, biggest fear is, is failure. It's one of those blokey things, I think, that it's all about it, is, is trying something and failing miserably and how to get out of it. I'm one of those guys, David, that if I fail, I fail really well. <laughs> I just make it look like it was planned. <laughs> so, I'd like to thank you very, very much. I'd like to thank you for uh, entertaining my mum every morning. Oh, she loves oh, that's you very kind. and my family. Oh, but, uh, give her a hug for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I don't tell her you said that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good idea. And we're done. Now, before we go, if you'd like to become a partner of Zoom TV, all the info is on our website. Just go to zoomtv.com.au and click on the Connect tab. Plus... If you're a member of an enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, we want to know about it. Go to our website, click on the events page, tell us about the event. We'll give it a plug. We may even come along. Don't forget to upload your pictures as well so we can help you publicise your event. Until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching and remember, whatever you do that Zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.